Hello again all you Strat diehards and welcome to another exciting edition of Stratomatic Baseball. We are continuing our 1951 replay with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Dodgers come into today's game at 14-9. Uh, they take on the Braves in what appears to be, according to Strat, a simple one game series on a Sunday. Um, if we take a look back using retro sheets we could see of course the game here that we are about to play played on Sunday May 13th but there was a tie game played on Saturday May 12th that is not in the strat schedule at least not in the one that we are playing so we're gonna take a look at both of these games and then we'll play the Sunday May 13th one in our replay as you can see again Saturday May 12th 1951 game was played at Braves Field it was a night game and it ended in a 5-5 tie Dodgers pounding out 16 hits. All, all of those hits coming against Warren Spahn, who went the distance for the Braves. We scroll down here and take a look at Spahn's line. 12 innings pit, pitched, 16 hits. Uh, just the five earned runs struck out six guys. On the other side of things, it was Preacher Rowe going nine full innings for the Dodgers. He gave up five runs, all of which were earned. Uh, surrendered 10 hits, struck out four, and walked two. Another interesting point or uh, game note three different guys for the Dodgers had three hits this evening uh, Robinson went three for six Hodges went three for six and Campanella went three for five on the other side of things Cooper had three hits for the Braves and then one last interesting uh, tidbit of information as we take a look down here uh, in the sixth inning the bottom of the sixth inning Chuck Dressen manager of the Dodgers was thrown out of the game uh, for arguing balls and strikes as uh, home plate umpire Artie Gore tossed Dressen from the game in the sixth. So he didn't have to stick around to see this marathon of a tie. Um, so we'll close the book on that one again. May 12th, uh, 1951, night game Braves Field, not in our strat schedule. Uh, so we won't be able to play that one. Uh, but let's take a look at the game that we are getting ready to prepare for, or that we are preparing for to play. And it was a 12-6 day game victory for the Dodgers on Sunday, May 13th, 1951. Uh, Reese and Snyder both picked up three hits for the Dodgers. As uh, the Dodgers pounded out 14 hits as a team. We scroll down and take a look at the pitching line. Erskine knocked out after just one-third of an inning. Gave up three hits, three earned runs. And that was all she wrote. Uh, for his pitching line, Van C. YK came in, uh, gave up three runs, none of which were earned. And then Hatton and Palika finished out the rest of the game. Palika going seven innings in relief, two hits, didn't surrender any runs. So pretty good uh, relief outing for Irv Palika. On the other side of things, Sir Kant went three and two-thirds for the Boston Braves. And he will be, again, the starter today uh, in our replay. No ejections of note in this one, but as we take a look back over onto the left-hand side of the screen, we see the the Boston, or I'm sorry, the Boston Braves come in at 13 and 12. The Brooklyn Dodgers come in at 14 and 9. The Dodgers in first place in our replay, and they have gotten hot as the calendar has turned over to May. Uh, taking a look just at uh, the hitting streaks, a lot of notable hitting streaks of five plus games coming into the game uh, for both squads. And then, as you can see, who's hot, who's not here in our replay. So, again, we'll head out to Braves Field as it'll be the Boston Braves and the Brooklyn Dodgers. A bad day weather-wise, but a day game nonetheless. And we'll head out to the ballpark. So, out to Braves Field we are as Max Sercant takes the bump, taking on the visiting Dodgers as Don Thompson leads things off for Brooklyn. First offering of the afternoon, and we've got an X chance right away for Addis out in left field. He's a 3-7. Certainly leaves some room for uh, improvement. And for the Dodgers, an opportunity to get on base. He does get to the baseball, as we can see. Does he make the play, though, cleanly? He does. Thompson's retired, and Reese will come to bat here in the top of the first. As Pee Wee Reese hitting 409, he pops out to first base. Two quick outs, and Duke Snyder comes up. Snyder, 247, three home runs, 18 RBIs in our replay. 
He grounds out to Turgeson at first, and the inning is quickly over as the Dodgers go down in order. And it'll be Roy Hartsfield to lead things off for the Boston Braves here in the bottom half of inning number one. And just like in the top half, we've got an X chance to lead off the bottom of the first. It's Hodges back behind the plate, though. Or, I'm sorry, it's Hodges over at first base. And he's a 113, so he'll get to the baseball. The question is, will he handle it safely? And he does. Ground out to first. Hats or Hartsfield's retired. It'll be Sam Jethro. Jethro, 104 at bats in a replay so far. Four home runs. 279 hitter. He bunts the baseball. He's out at first as Erskine goes one to three. Two quick outs, and it's Earl Torgerson. And Torgerson draws a two out walk. Torgerson stands on, and the cleanup hitter, Bob Elliott. Two home runs. He had 15 in all of 1951. And Torgerson's running. He gets the jump, 1 to 19. We're going to hold on to the baseball. No reason to commit any chance at a throwing error. Torgerson stands on at second. We're not going to hold him, see if he gets the jump again. He does get the jump. He's running to third. We will not hold on to the baseball. No reason to send it into left field. So two jumps, two steals by Torgerson. And now Elliott just a single away from picking up an RBI here in the first. And he draws a walk. So Elliott stands on. Not a threat to steal. And he does get the jump. It is a... Double, I'm sorry, it's a delayed steal. We're going to throw to second to try to get the out. And we're going to cut it off, try to get the play at home. And we got Torgerson on the double steal, inning over, no damage done. We had to maneuver around an otherwise clean inning. Uh, we had to work around two Erskine walks. So after one, no score. So Robinson digs in. And he gets the game's first hit of the afternoon. As Robinson stands on at first, let's see if he can get the jump. He does. They throw out to center. It's over the second base. Or, I'm sorry, it's over the shortstop who's covering. Jethro's got to run in to get it. And Robinson's going to trot on him over to third base. So a steal for Robinson. He gets to third on the air. And now Hodges stands in. Hodges, seven home runs already through 89 at-bats. And he grounds out to the shortstop, but that's going to move Robinson up. He crosses home plate, and the Dodgers take a 1-0 lead. As Ferrillo now steps in, he gets a single. So Ferrillo stands on at first. Let's see if he can get the jump. He does, and he's out. So St. Clair back there behind the plate, tosses it down to Kerr covering at second. Ferrillo will retire two away as Edwards stands in, looking for his first hit. He does not get it. And that's how the inning ends. But Brooklyn picks up a run after one and a half. Lead at one nothing. Eva St. Clair leads off by getting hit. So he'll stand on at first. He can't get the jump. And it'll be Bob Addis. And Addis is a 349 hitter. Doesn't have any home runs. Doesn't have any, any RBIs so far in our replay. And Addis is going to square to bunt. Chance to beat it out. No, they're going to go to the lead runner at second and say Claire is safe. So the Dodgers looking to get the lead runner can't do it. And Addis is on with a single. And now they're really threatening as Willard Marshall steps in. He's a 373 hitter here in our replay. And he's got a runner in scoring position. And he's got a three-run homer. That's Willard Marshall's fourth of the season. And the Braves take a 3-1 to one lead as Erskine continues to struggle. He walked two guys with two outs in the first. And he's given up a hit batter, a single, and now a home run here in the second. So let's see if Erskine can settle in as he takes on the 8, 9, and 1 hitters here in the bottom of the second. And there's a double for Kerr. So Buddy Kerr stands on. It's Max Sercant. He squares to bunt. Finally an out, just on a sack bunt. But the Braves turn the lineup over as Hartsfield steps in with Kerr on at third. Hartsfield strikes out, and it'll be up to Sam Jethro. Jethro draws the walk. Probably going to want to hold him at first. Yeah, we'll hold Jethro at first. He 
he's running. He gets the jump. They are going to try the delayed steal. So we'll try to throw the second. And then we're going to cut it off and throw back to home. And Kerr is thrown out. What a close play, though. It was a one-to-one -one for Kerr to be safe. And the split die, or the 20-sided die, or the split cards, however you want to look at it, comes up at a two. So it was a bang-bang play. Kerr thrown out. Braves retired, but they get the three-run home run, and they have the lead three-to-one. Billy Cox steps in. He's got a single to lead off the top of the third. And Erskine going to look to help his cause by moving Cox over. He fouls the first pitch off. He's going to stay with the bunt. And he's got a sack bunt two to three. So Cox moves up. Thompson now up for the second time. He flew out back in the first. Strikes out here in the third. It'll be up to Pee Wee Reese to try to close the gap here. And Reese strikes out, ending over. Brooklyn remains down. 3-1 as the Braves send up Earl Torgerson and the 3-4-5 group. To lead off the third, Torgerson flies out to Thompson and left. Elliott walks. He stands on at first for Eba Sinclair. Elliott can't get the jump. He's going to run with the pitch still. It's a 1-10. And he's gunned out. Edwards picks up the caught stealing. And that will be up to Eba St. Clair. He lines out to Robinson at second inning over. We head to the fourth. And it is Boston 3, Brooklyn 1, Duke Snyder, Jackie Robinson, Gil Hodges. Due up for Brooklyn. And Snyder grounds out to Hartsfield at second. Robinson, this is over sharply to first. It's Torgerson. 318, so there's some hits on the card. There's some errors on the card as well. Torgerson gets to it. Does he field it cleanly? He does not. Ball goes off Torgerson's glove, and Robinson stands on at first with the air. And right away, we're going to see if Robinson can get the jump. He does not. And we're going to keep him there for now as Hodges digs in. Hodges gets a triple. Robinson scores. And the tying run now 90 feet away for the Dodgers as Carl Ferrillo steps in. Ferrillo, a hot start power-wise with the bat. This will be his 100th at bat of the season. He's got four doubles, a triple, and seven long balls so far in our replay. So he stands in against Sercant. He picks up the single. That ties the ball game up. So Ferrillo stands on at first, and he's going to look for the jump. Sercant throws over, tries to pick him off. He's back in time. So Ferrillo keeping it close. Now, after Sercant almost picked him off, it'll be Bruce Edwards looking for his first hit. And instead, he finds a 5-4-3 twin killing. Inning over, but the Dodgers do tie it up at three. So Bob Addis leads things off for the Braves in the bottom of the fourth. He pops out to second. It'll be Willard Marshall who had the home run. He gets a single now. So that makes him two for two as he stands on at first. It's Buddy Kerr. Kerr grounds to Reese. That's a fielder's choice. Kerr makes it to first. And there's two away for Max Sercant. And Circuit strikes out. Inning over. We're tied as we head to the fifth. And Billy Cox now. Lead things off. Eight, nine, and one. Cox has a base hit. And he's going to have a hard round at first, but that's it. No reason to stretch it with a leadoff guy. And an, a B bunner up. Corners are in. Erskine will square. And that is Erskine's second sack bun of the afternoon. As Cox now stands on at second. As the go-ahead run for Don Thompson. Thompson flies to right. No chance for Cox to move up. And it'll be up to Pee Wee Reese. He's popped out and struck out today. He's a 400 hitter in our replay. And a chance to possibly drive the go-ahead run in as he hits it to Hartsfield, a 428. Hartsfield does not get to it. That's a single two bases, so Cox is going to score. Now the question will be, where does Reese end up? Reese is going to end up at first. Cox scores. Dodgers take the lead. So it's 4-3 to three now, and Duke Snyder stands in. 
Reese looking for that jump. He does not get it. And it'll be left up to Snyder. And Snyder hits it sharply to Hartsfield, who just a batter before couldn't get to the baseball. He gets to this one, ends the inning, but the Dodgers have struck again and they lead it four to three. As the Do or I'm sorry, as the Braves now send up one, two, and three, an opportunity to get it right back with the top of the lineup. And a leadoff single for Hartsfield, making up for it. Making up for his misstep in the top of the fifth that led to the RBI single. As Hartsfield stands on at first, he tries for the jump, doesn't get it. It's Jethro now. Jethro going to lay a bunt down. Sack bunt, moves Hartsfield up, and Torgerson. 92 at bats. He's hitting just 207, seven points above the Mendoza line. He struck out 16 times. As Erskine stands on, gets the sign, throws, ground out to short. Hartsfield's got a hold. And Elliott with St. Clair on deck. He hammers righties. Well, I shouldn't say hammers, but he hits righties better than he does lefties. With Erskine staying on, we're going to pitch to Elliott. No. We're going to walk Elliott. As Elliott hits righties better than Sinclair. And it'll be up to St. Clair. He fouls out to the catcher, ending over. Damage avoided. And we head to the sixth. Dodgers clinging to a one-run lead as Jackie Robinson leads things off with a double. So Robinson stands on at second. And Hodges now. Ground ball to third. Robinson's got a hold. Robinson does not get the jump with one out. It'll be Ferrillo. Ferrillo has a base hit. And we are going to wave Robinson around. Sending the trail runner. Turning up the aggressiveness. Robinson scores. Ferrillo advances. And he stands on at second as he trades places with Robinson. And the Dodgers extend their lead to 5-3. to three. As Bruce Edwards now steps in. His last at bat, assuredly, as Roy Campanella will come off the bench defensively for the bottom of the inning. And Edwards pops out. It'll be Billy Cox now. Cox grounds out. That ends the inning. A couple of changes coming our way, though, or at least one as Campanella will come in to catch for the out-of-towners. And we'll leave it at that. So the defense is set. As Erskine steps back on the mound, he's now got a two-run lead as Bob Addis steps in. Addis flies to center. That's Snyder. Willard Marshall, he's two for two. Make that two for three as he grounds out to Cox at third, and it's Buddy Kerr. This is a hard shot to Pee Wee Reese, who's at 236. Reese gets to it. Does he make the throw is the question. He does not. He airmails Hodges at first. Ball rolls hard up the right field line and Buddy Kerr heads into second base. So a two base error committed by Reese with two outs. Sir Kant, will he hit? He does. He strikes out, inning over. And that'll be it for Erskine as well as we take a look at our bench. And we're going to go with Cal Abrams to pinch hit. So Abrams stands in to face Sir Comp. Abrams grounds to Torgerson at first, one out. Lineup turns over, it's Donnie Thompson. Thompson grounds to second, and now Reese. Reese strikes out, quick work of the Dodgers there in the seventh. They hold a two-run lead, five to three. And let's see what 
the Braves have coming up. Righty switch, lefty righty switch. And we're going to go with Clyde King. We'll slot into that nine spot. He'll come on to pitch. King, 12 innings pitched so far. One win, one save. He's got a 438 ERA. He's walked five. He's struck out four. King settles on the bump. And he leads off with a walk. And now it's Jethro hitting from the left side of the plate. Base hit for Sam Jethro. They put the stop sign up. So Hartsfield stands on at second. Jethro at first. And the Dodgers... I've got to do some managing now as the Braves are threatening here in the bottom of the seventh as Torgerson steps in. King delivers. That's a long drive. Way back there. Snyder at the wall. Can he rob it? He does. He pulls it back. The Duke climbs that high center field wall at Braves Field and brings back a long fly ball from Torgerson. As King subtly pumps his fist, thanking Snyder, there's one away. And now it's Bob Elliott. Pitch on the way from King. And this is Reese. Opportunity at perhaps a double play, hopefully an out somewhere. As Reese again at 236 in 1951. Opportunity for a double play. He can field it cleanly. He got to it. Tosses it to second. Robinson there. They turn the double play. King gets out of the inning. Thanks in large part to two big plays. First, the robbed home run from Snyder in center. And then Reese starts a dandy of a double play. King out of trouble. No run surrendered. Dodgers take a two-run lead into the eighth. As Sircott stays on, it'll be Snyder to lead things off. And this is Sint. St. Clair back behind the plate. The chance to make the play. He gets to it, and it's a pop out. So Snyder retired. It's Robinson. He's two for three. He reached uh, in the fourth on a single. He's been on all three times. And make that four times as Robinson singles here in the eighth. Promptly looking to steal the base. He can't get the lead. There's two hours. There's one out with Hodges up. And Hodges pops out to first. So now we'll take a look. It's actually, let's look for Rillo swing because we got Campanella on deck. And this is St. Clair again. It's a 4 4. So a chance in a wild pitch or a pass ball. And it's going to be a wild pitch unless there's another error somewhere. So it's a wild pitch. Robinson moves up. Ferrillo stays in. He's 3-for-3 three three with two RBIs. He's hitting 277 in our replay. And he flies to left. That's Addis easy to retire the Dodgers in the eighth. And now it'll be St. Clair to lead things off against King, who stays in. He pops out to first. Bob Addis now with one out. Grounds to first. And Willard Marshall, home run and a single. He's 2-for-3. And he draws a walk. So Marshall stands on at first. Buddy Kerr up. Kerr's been on two of the three times today. And he's going to be pinch hit for as Sid Gordon comes in. Gordon so far in our 1951 replay. He is 94 at bats. He's hitting to the tune of 319. Big single looking here. No. He lines out instead to Robinson. And that will be all she wrote for the or for the Braves in the eighth. So they'll have some work to do in the bottom half of the ninth if they want to keep this game going. It'll be Campanella, Cox, and King for the Dodgers. As Campy steps up, first at bat, grounds out to Sir Cox. Cox singles. Cox stands on, and we will pinch hit. This time, facing a righty, we're going to go with Hank Edwards. So Hank Edwards making his 10th at bat. 333, pass ball. Cox moves up. Edwards stays in the box. Strong lefty. He strikes out. Two outs. Thompson up now. Cox stands on. Big insurance run out there at second base. 
And that's a single. Cox scores again. Huge insurance run as Thompson comes through with a two-out single. And the Dodgers make it 6-3. to three. They've got 12 hits on the day. Reese now drives this one in to center for extra bases. And you betcha we're going to be waving Thompson around. The throw coming home. Reese going to try to advance. Thompson sliding in. And he's in there. So Hank Thompson, or I'm sorry, Don Thompson, after the RBI single, gets knocked in with a double by Pee Wee Reese. It's 7-3 to three Dodgers. And now Dave Cole being brought into the game to try to get the last out in the ninth. As Snyder steps in. Snyder grounds to Hartsfield at first, inning over. Dodgers get two big runs, and we head to the bottom of the ninth. As the score stands, Brooklyn 7, Boston 3. And they're going to go right to the closer, Clem Labine, to finish off this Boston Braves team. As Cole will be pinch hit for, it'll be Walker Cooper. And there's a ground out to short, one away. Hartsfield grounds to Labine. And Jethro lines out to first. That's the ball game. The Dodgers take it by a final score of 7-3. to three. So We take a look at the box score. Erskine gets the win for the Dodgers as they improve to 15-9. Erskine improves to 1-2. and two. That's his first win in our replay. He went six innings, five hits, three earned runs. Big problem, though, is he walked five guys. ERA, 426 after today's game. King came in, had two solid innings, one hit, two walks, no runs surrendered. And then Labine, um, as I just wanted to close out the game, comes in and throws one clean inning of relief. On the other side of things, Max Sercant drops to four and two. Braves fall to 13 and 13. Sercant went eight and two thirds, just couldn't find that last out in the ninth as the Dodgers pushed across two late. Um, after having two outs to extend the lead. Uh, Sircant did have four strikeouts, didn't walk anybody, so the control was there, just couldn't miss any bats as he gave up 13 hits. Cole came in, pitched one scoreless third of an inning, or one uh, clean third of an inning. And um, as we look, take a look at the box score for the hitters, we see a couple of uh, three-hit games. For the Dodgers, as Jackie Robinson, Carl Ferrillo, and Billy Cox all have three hits for the out-of-towners. On the other side of thing, uh, things, the Braves were paced by Willard Marshall, who had two hits. He was two for three, rose the average to uh, 389 here in our replay. But at the end of the day, and a bad weather day, the Dodgers are on top by a final score of 7-3. to three. Again, they improved to 15-9 in our replay. And the month of May so far has been very, very good to them. Again, Dodgers win it here from Braves Field for the last time by a final score of 7-3. to three. Until next time, so long, everybody.